All right, who remembers that famous line, there's no crying in baseball? Of course, that is from the classic 1992 film, A League of Our Own. And now there's a brand new series that expands on the story of the Rockford Peaches even more. Here's a look. You barely talked to the kid. Not about her. I don't care. Right. I just care about the championship, man. We, we, we need her. That scene features Canadian actress Kelly McCormick, who plays Jess. And Kelly joins us this morning with more on A League of Their Own. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. Yeah, How are nice, you? Nice to see you. I'm doing great. I want to know more about Jess. I mean, Jess is the wily shortstop from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, who <laughs> sort of fulfills all those um, shortstop stereotypes. So she's really gritty and throws herself around and believes in the game more than sort of, like is, is dedicated to the game the most out of all the players, I think. Yeah, baseball first. Uh, I understand that you set the creators, and I love this, a 40 page biography about Jess. Look, at you, she's doing this. Why was it so important for you to go the extra mile and do that kind of research for your role? It's just how I am. I think I come from theater and it's kind of my pedigree as an artist. I'm such a voracious creative type and kind of compulsive. So I, I didn't even mean to send it to them. I just had mentioned it to, I had done it for myself and mentioned it to Abby. And then when they were trying to come up with some, you know, eccentricities of my character they were like can we read that doc and it felt like i was like you know naked <laughs> like, <there's laughs> some... yeah it was it was pretty fun well you answered my question i was curious to know if they took any of that biography that you had created and i love that they did yeah i mean they sort of told us in the beginning that they were going to base the characters loosely off of us and um, you know, I'm I'm from I'm from BC, and I I spend a lot of time outdoors. And they kept hearing me talk about being on boats and being <laughs> in the forest in the wilderness. And uh, Jess's character slowly became more and more feral. So <laughs> I think that they did take it from the the 40 page doc. But I, I just to be clear, I didn't mean to send it to them. They demanded. It. <laughs> hey, in the show, Jess says Tom Hanks' famous line: "There's no crying in baseball." How do you prepare for that scene? Because I can hear his voice in my head. I know you must be able to, too. So do you try to, I guess the choice has to be made. Do you try to mimic it or make it all Jess's? Yeah, I didn't prepare for it at all. I read it in the script and was, you know, excited, honored, then immediately terrified. <laughs> and because, as you said, like, you can't help but hear that line in your head. Um, I just didn't say it out loud, like not in my apartment, not on set. I just didn't say it once. I was like, if I have any hope of this coming off as genuine and off the cuff, then I have to sort of not practice it, um, which is kind of like antithetical to you know, most most lines you have to rehearse in some sort of way. Um, so I just my 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 um, strategy was to not pay an homage to Tom Hanks, <laughs> not attempt at his effervescence. Just say it and walk away, and um, hopefully it turned out okay. <laughs> How did it feel when it came out of your mouth? Because you're right, it's an iconic line. It felt weird, you know. It was just like there's no crying in baseball, and then your your brain's going, did I just say that? <laughs> Is, is Tom Hanks going to watch this? And then I, sp and then luckily my character is kind of like very aggressive and angry and intense sometimes. So I just sort of stormed off. It was, it was great. <laughs> what do you hope audiences are going to take away from this show? I hope audiences um, continue to believe that women can play ball and that women have a place in sports. There still isn't an all-American professional female baseball league. There still isn't a place for women to play professional ball. So I'm hoping that um, this continues to point towards those organizations that are trying to get um, women paid to do the work that, um, that they're doing that is equal to men, and not just for baseball, but for all sports. Kelly, great to see you. Thanks for coming on this morning. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, A League of Their Own is streaming right now on Amazon Prime. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.